Welcome to Movie Lounge. I'm your host, Stephen Wasson, and today we're going to talk about a question, and we're going to get to bracket D and E of our bracket tournament for Christmas movies, and we're just going to start into it because I feel like the bracket's going to take much more time to, ex to explain each movies, but... One question that was submitted in today was from a friend, and it was about George Lucas. And he asked, what are your thoughts on George Lucas doing experimental films? And he was referring to the video of George Lucas being interviewed by Steve Colbert, Colbert, that guy. And it was about his thoughts and his plans to do experimental film. And I think it's awesome. I I mean, we've been waiting for what seems like 20 years about this. And it's pretty much what George Lucas was talking about was how experimental films don't need to make money. And they don't necessarily need to be big. Like, you can do an experimental film on a $2,000 budget pretty much, or even a hundred dollar budget. They're not expensive, they're really easy to do. I mean, I've done them, they're, they're fun to do, and I think with George Lucas, it'll bring back, like, to me, George Lucas is a great storyteller. He can be a decently good director, but, but mostly he's a good storyteller, and that's how Star Wars got so big. And I think with him doing experimental films, it'll bring him back to when he did American Graffiti, THX and all those things like it's something that most directors kind of start off doing and then they get big and then they just keep doing the bigger stuff so yeah I think him doing experimental films it'll be great I think that it will help help people understand where he's coming at because I feel like when he did the prequels he got so much backlash like I'm not a fan of episode one and two, but I enjoyed episode three. And I think with him just kind of realizing, I have all this money. That was another thing. He said that with if a filmmaker who's rich, and he was hinting at him, he's probably one of the most wealthiest filmmakers around. And he was hinting at, he can make all these experimental movies and just put them in a vault and doesn't have to show anyone. I think it's just he's wanting to do it for him. And I think that's so great. So that's the question. And I'll leave the link of the video of the George Lucas interview in the description below. So you guys can check it out. So that's the, that's the first question. The only question for today. And we're going to get into the bracket tournament. So bracket number D. We're not going to get to C yet because A has to be submitted. There has to be a winner of that one. So we won't get to C until next week. I'm hoping so. So bracket D is Die Hard at seed number 16 and Dr. Seuss How the Grinch Stole Christmas at seed number 17. Now, Die Hard, for some people, it's debatable if Die Hard is a Christmas movie. And I'm hardly saying it is because of the whole atmosphere. Growing up, like Die Hard, like John McClane was kind of like my hero in a way because he was an everyday kind of man. Like he, I mean, he comes to visit L.A. to see his family on Christmas. He deals with terrorists on Christmas Eve. He does everything he possibly can to make everything right. And to me, that's such an awesome view of who a dad should be, who, especially with family problems, like would do anything to see his wife and do anything to just be with his family on Christmas Day. I think that's pretty cool. And scene number 17, which is a very tough one, Dr. Seuss, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, is a classic. It's downright one of my favorites to watch, and it's really hard to see those two go against it. But Dr. Seuss, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, there's, growing up a kid, as a kid, any kid is going to love that movie. It's such a good cartoon, awesome animated film. Like, it's, all around really good. And it's about a guy who wants to take over Christmas and destroy it. It's a little twist, but it's fun. Like, if you've read the books, it's great. And I think the adaptation from the book to movie is so spot on. And I enjoyed it so much, both of them. So that's bracket D. 
Bracket E is lethal weapon C is C number eight against C number twenty five Holiday Inn. I have not seen Holiday Inn. I will now. There's a few movie like a couple movies I haven't seen on here, but I definitely will now that this bracket's going on. So I'm definitely gonna see Holiday Inn. Lethal Weapon, it's a favorite of mine. It's I don't get the Christmas spirit from it, but it's there. Christmas theme is in it a little bit. So it's enjoyable. I I enjoy anything Mel Gibson does and it's it's a it's good. Um Holiday Inn, I don't I've heard it's a really good classic movie. So that's all I can really say on that one. And sorry if I haven't seen all these and look like a complete idiot. I probably do. But I'm being honest with you guys about the movies I haven't seen. So, bracket number F is Charlie Brown, a Charlie Brown Christmas story, seed number nine, and then seed number 24, Jingle All the Way. Both of these are one of my favorites to watch. Charlie Brown Christmas story, hands down, is one of the most growing up, and it is still most adorable, and it's spot on with how Christmas should be. And I think that people get a sense of how Christmas should be with that. And then Jingle All the Way, it's a fun comedy with Arnold Schwarzenegger. I mean, I enjoy, as a kid, I enjoyed it. I haven't seen it in such a long time. So it's, yeah, it's, it's enjoyable. If you like Arnold Schwarzenegger and the cliche stuff, you're going to enjoy this movie. And then finally, bracket number G. For Christmas, seed number four, and against The Family Man, seed 29. For Christmas, I have not seen, I think I've seen it growing up as a, no, I haven't. That was, I was thinking of a different Christmas movie. See, there's a lot of Christmas movies. And then, I haven't seen it. Some people enjoy it, so it's, I had to put it in there. It's, it's enjoyable, I guess. I haven't seen it, but I will see it. Um, the Family Man. It's a good Nicolas Cage movie. I know Nicolas Cage isn't a big fan with some people, but it's enjoyable. It's I enjoyed it to see how that played out. So, yeah, those are the movies up for battle. So I'll put the movies in the description as well below. And then you guys can vote on the YouTube channel. Or you can leave a comment in the video description. Comment in the video. You can go to our email at themovielounge15 at gmail.com and leave your vote in there by just typing in the name. You don't have to go one, one. I'm not going to know what that is or where that, what movie that's going to go to. So you can put in your vote by just typing in the name. I'll know exactly where it's going to go. Or you can go to our Facebook page, put in that. Or you can go to our YouTube or Twitter account and then just submit it. So I am going to leave all those in the description below and you guys can just submit your answers and you can also submit your questions. I enjoy your questions and I can't wait to know more questions that you guys have for me. It's a good challenge for me to check up on my film stuff as well as help you guys. So you guys have a great day.